It is midnight on July 24th, and that means Booktubeathon has started for me. Um, I'm ahead of a lot of people just because I'm in Asia, and I am still in the middle of Unsold. I have not finished it. Originally, I had planned to try and finish it, but that didn't end up happening, and so I will be starting off a readathon by finishing or reading more of Unsold and finishing this before I get into my actual TBR. Uh, that is going to change things up a little bit, but hopefully I can still do most of the things. If not, it works for some of the challenges. So I mostly am not really following the challenges. I'm just trying my best to read more books. So far, my maximum number of books in a week is three. And so I want to see if I can do four and we will just see how that works. I am currently watching YouTube videos, so I will finish that first and then get into reading and there's like 20 more minutes of the youtube video but i can skip certain parts of it and um yeah that's how book two is on is gonna start for me i guess it is now like 2 40 something in the morning i actually debated staying up longer to finish and sold because i only have like less than 100 pages left and it's almost three in the morning and so i've decided that i'm just gonna finish this when i wake up but so far my page count for book two with on is 132 pages so not bad um i'm gonna finish this when i wake up like i said and i will update you guys in like i don't know eight to ten hours it is like 11 46 in the morning and i've just set up down to pick this back up i was asleep until like 10 30 and it took me a while to get out of bed and so now I am picking this back up and I don't know what I'm doing for lunch so I'm gonna try and finish this as much of this as I can before lunch and then pick up, I'm pretty sure I'm gonna pick up the Slaughter Man next. It is now 2.30 and I'm in the same position you guys have seen me in the last two clips but I can assure you time's changed. Um, I have finished Unsold, I have finished the last little bit. So I have read 229 pages so far today. I'm gonna move on to The Slaughter Man, even though I actually really want to pick up Undivided because I've been binging the series. I don't want to break it, but I guess I didn't really think about that. I wasn't really planning. I kind of thought that maybe I could finish the entire Dystology before Bookjubathon started, but that didn't end up happening. I'm going to move on to slaughter man this isn't very thick it's only 386 pages and it's a small paperback i might be able to finish a good chunk of this today but i have to get some work done if i finish my tbr i might not pick up the first book in the grisha trilogy which i can never get those names right i might pick up undivided if i finish my tbr before book two thons over and finish up that series because i really want to know what happens i finished the book and i wanted to pick up the next one immediately but i had already like set what i was going to read this week and unfortunately undivided does not count towards any of the book two with on goals so i'm trying to put my mind away from that book because i really want to know what happens at the end of the series i'm so close to finding out i'm gonna read the slaughter man read about some murder and mystery to take my mind off a really good series that i absolutely love i will check in again with you guys in a little bit when I start reading again and let you guys know how that goes. It is about 10.50, 10.52-ish, and I have started Slaughter Man. Uh, I'm about 25-ish pages into the book, so not a whole lot in. Um, I spent my afternoon doing some work and then helped my sister who is cat sitting and then um, kind of just watch NCIS for a bit. So I think this is my last clip for like Monday. I think I can make it through like 100-ish pages before I go to bed. So yeah, I don't have anything planned for tomorrow. So that's just more reading for me. As of right now, I have read like over 200 pages, about 250-ish pages today. So not bad for the first day. And we will see how much more I read before I go to bed. It is currently 1.52 a.m. And I have read about... That much of Slaughter Man. Um, it's okay. I was expecting it to be a little better. Um, honestly, it started off a little slow. I'm 91 pages into it. It just doesn't feel as fast paced as I thought it would be, so that's kind of a letdown, but it's getting interesting, and so I think I will finish this tomorrow. It's a pretty quick read. The font's pretty big, and like it's 
like it's a mass market paperback so it looks like that and it's pretty easy to read i should be able to finish that tomorrow but i'm gonna call it a day for now it's almost two in the morning and i am gonna go to bed um yeah and we will see what tomorrow brings in terms of reading so i figured we could use a little change i'm laying on my bed because i was watching ncis and i have finished the slaughter man um it was okay i gave it a 3.5 out of 5 stars i'm gonna move on to my next book which is stars above this shouldn't take oh shoot i shouldn't start this right now because this is my book for reading it in a day Okay, I will start this tomorrow. Yes, because I haven't actually started reading this. I've marked it as currently reading on Goodreads, but I haven't actually started the book. So, not started it. This counts tomorrow. I can finish this tomorrow because it's what? 400 pages? It's Marissa Meyer. I can finish this tomorrow. And I don't have a lot going on tomorrow, so that works out. Um, that makes 1.5 books that I've finished so far in the readathon. That also puts me four books ahead of my Goodreads challenge. I finished 20 out of 30 books, which is good. I think part of why I'm reading so quickly is because if I finish this TBR really quickly, it means I can move on to Undivided, which I really want to do. And after Stars Above, I just have Gone Girl. And I wanted to break, well, I was going to read Gone Girl, and then I figured I'd break it up with Stars Above and read something fantasy instead of just having straight up like two mysteries. I think I'm going to be able to start Undivided before the end of the week, just because of the rate I'm reading right now. I will start this after midnight. I will have all of tomorrow to finish it. It should be pretty easy, so. So it is about 2.30 in the morning right now. I'm gonna go to bed. But I started Stars Above, as I said I would after midnight. I read the first novella. It's nice to be back in the world. I'm really enjoying what I've read so far, and I should have no problem getting through this book. I don't have a lot going on today because today's already officially Wednesday, and so I should be able to finish the book. Yeah, I will update you guys when I wake up and read of stars above. It is 9 30 right now and I have not actually read anything at all today but I well aside from the first novel that I finished like right after midnight hit I'm gonna try and finish the rest of this. I don't know if I can actually make it to finish this book in the next like two and a half hours but I will try. If I don't do it that means I failed this challenge which I'm okay with honestly as long as I enjoy the books I read it really doesn't matter to me if I fail this challenge or not, or if I fail any of the challenges or not. I just want to read more during this week. And yeah, I will update you guys at some point, hopefully when we finish the book, or when midnight hits, whichever comes first. Well, it is currently 11.50 at night, and I'm definitely not done with this. I have that much more to go. While I'm making really good progress, I don't think I can finish like 100 pages in the next 10 minutes. So I've definitely failed the read a book in a day challenge and I could have done it. I know I could have done it if I didn't spend most of my day procrastinating. I had plenty of time where I could have read and I chose not to, so that is my fault. But hey, I'm pretty happy with the amount I've read anyways. Even though I can't say I finished this entire book in a day, maybe that challenge could be saved for something else. I don't know. I don't think I could read Gone Girl in a day, but we will see. And with how quickly I'm progressing through this, once I finish Gone Girl, I will have officially completed my entire TBR for Booktubeathon, so maybe if I pick up Undivided, I could finish that in a day, and we'll just see how this goes. But definitely did not finish this in a day. I still have 100 pages to go. I think the most important thing is that I'm enjoying what I'm reading. I really enjoyed the novellas I've read so far. Although, the last one that I read, the one I just finished, um, The Little Android, it confused me a little bit. I'm not going to talk about it because... I don't want to spoil anyone, but it did confuse me just a little bit. But yeah, I'm going to finish this and then ready for bed, maybe watch an episode of NCIS, but I will update you guys when I'm done reading. It's 1.58 on Friday morning, and here's the thing. I barely read it all Thursday. I read a total of eight pages aside from finishing Stars Above, and I think just reading so much the past few days has made me want to take a day for TV, so that's what I did. But don't have a lot going on today, so I think I'm going to read more. I'm only eight pages into Gone Girl. The thing is, I thought it would start out differently. It's a 463-page book, and I just expected more, I guess. The first eight pages don't really interest me that much. It's talking a lot about domestic life, and I'm not very interested in that. There's also a mosquito flying around my room, so thank goodness. Stupid thing. Back to the book. It's 
really not what I expected and I don't know how I feel about it so far, but I'm hoping it gets better. I don't know, there's just stuff about like Gillian Flynn's describing the house and I don't care what the house looks like. It reminds me of Tolkien in how she, like they spend a while describing stuff, but and we will see what happens as I get further into the book. And hopefully this lives up to the expectations I have of it. So I'm gonna go find and kill that mosquito now and update you guys tomorrow. Quick update, it's been a few minutes. You guys don't care. I killed the mosquito and my hands are really red and they hurt because it took a while to kill it. Bit of a change of scenery because my phone is currently charging. It was at 1% and I needed to film the clip for today. I have not read anything at all. I spent most of my day finishing Fresh Off the Boat May or may not have watched like 15 episodes, maybe 16 episodes of Fresh Off the Boat today. It's fine, they're 21 minute episodes. It's not as bad as watching like 15, 45 minute episodes. So I spent most of my day writing actually. I was really feeling the writing mood. I had a lot of stuff I wanted to fix for Venture, um, which if you don't know is, it's the first novel I wrote for my first NaNoWriMo. Um, last night I figured out that stuff wasn't working and I had to fix it. And so I've spent the majority of my day doing that. I think the problem with Gone Girl right now is that I'm not intrigued enough to pick it up. And I feel like that is a cop-out for me saying that, but the first eight pages do not have me as interested. I think I just need a few more pages to get into it because I'm pretty sure like it's going to start in the first chapter. kind of has to, but it's just... I don't know, it's not as exciting as I thought it would be. Tomorrow's gonna be an interesting day. Currently, legendary Pokemon are out, and I'm meeting my brother early before church to go catch, well, hopefully catch and I don't remember what it's called. It's the giant bird blue flying thing. I'll insert a picture in here. My commute there is about 45 minutes to an hour, so we're gonna try and catch the Pokemon. And then I'm gonna have my laptop and my book with me so that I can read or do more writing depending on what I feel like at the moment, but I will have my book with me at least for the commute. So I will get more reading done. At this point, because it's Friday right now, my goal is to finish this by the end of the readathon. I think I should be able to do it because I don't have plans for, well, I mean, I was going to say I don't have plans for Saturday and then I realized I do. I don't really have plans for Sunday as far as I know. So I'm going to try and read this as much as I can because I want to write. I've been in a writing mood, so I don't know how that going to affect my reading. My reading count for the day is zero, but hopefully tomorrow will be a better reading day. It definitely will be because I read on the train, so hopefully I can get just more reading done tomorrow. So it is currently almost 11. On the 30th, I did not film anything yesterday. Read a little bit. I think I read 51 pages yesterday. I am almost halfway through Gone Girl, but I'm really confused about it because a lot of people tell me I'm not supposed to like Amy, or at least that's what I've heard for some reason that I'm not supposed to like Amy, but I'm not sure if that's pertaining to the book or the movie. I like Amy, actually. I really, really hate Nick. As far as I can tell, the only question I have so far is why Nick keeps making really terrible decisions. He has not made a single good decision so far in the entire 217 pages that I've read. Yeah, 216 pages that I've read. He has not made a single good decision. So I'm really confused also. This isn't as interesting as I thought it would be because it's supposed to be like this really good, intense psychological thriller with an unreliable narrator. But as far as I can tell, it's not actually unreliable. I'm not having a problem figuring out that Nick obviously isn't a very good guy. So I'm really confused. Maybe things are going to be different towards the second half of the book, but I don't know. It's an okay read, but I really hate, I really, really hate Nick. Like, I can't find a single redeeming thing about him. And I'm not going to spoil anything. I just, I really hate him. It's annoying that half the book is from his perspective because I find myself not wanting to read his chapters and wanting to go towards Amy's chapters, but I can't exactly do that because I'm missing out a lot of the story if I skip his chapters. So I'm going to read for the last like hour of Booktubeathon. I really wanted to get more reading done, but Gone Girl put me in a slump. Like it was this really immediate slump. Eight pages into this and I wasn't like, I don't want to read anymore. And I don't, I, like, I wasn't expecting this because I'm usually really good about thrillers. I really enjoy mysteries and really enjoy thrillers. But somehow, Gone Girl just totally, like, I did not want to read this. Gone Girl's put me in a pretty big slump and I don't like it. 
I really wanted to finish this before August. So there's still the 31st. I think I want to try and finish it then. And I will update you guys when Booktubeathon is over. It is midnight on Monday, July 31st, which means Booktubeathon is officially over. I am 274 pages into Gone Girl. Things changed suddenly in the middle of the book, and now I don't know what to think anymore. And now I'm really confused because. I guess this is why people say you're not supposed to like anyone in the book. I still don't like Nick. I don't think I'm ever going to like Nick. Um, unless something massive changes toward the end of the book, I really doubt I'm gonna like him. I have um, 190 pages left of the book, which I have like that much left, top half. So it's not a whole lot. I can definitely finish it tomorrow. Yeah, I guess this is the end of Booktubeathon for me. I would still blame Gone Girl for putting me in a slump though just because it took 247 pages for me to actually find myself interested in the book. Of a 463 page book, I don't think that's a very good thing. I will be wrapping this up in a separate clip because I need to like tally the numbers of pages I've read and the number of books I've read. It went better than I thought it would but also not as well as I thought it would. So this is the wrap up of Booktubeathon. Obviously it is over, it's been a couple of days, and to start off I read a total of 1,297 pages, which I think is pretty good considering I only read like two full books. Almost 1,300 pages I would say is pretty decent for Booktubeathon. It's the most I've ever read for Booktubeathon I think. I ended up finishing two full books and two half books. I started off the readathon by finishing Unsold and so that was the second half of the book. I finished that and then I moved straight into the Slaughterman and I finished the entire book. I finished All of Stars Above as well and then I got halfway through Gone Girl before the readathon was over. Since then I have finished the book and and I still wasn't a big fan of it. I ended up giving it a three stars and it just didn't meet my expectations honestly. And of the challenges I only completed three of them. First challenge being read a book with a person on the cover and I did that with Slaughterman. I read a hyped book and that was Stars Above and I read a book with a main character who was very different from me and that was Gone Girl. Even though I didn't exactly finish my entire TBR, I didn't complete Gone Girl by the end of the readathon, I still consider this a success. I was happy with the amount of pages I read. I enjoyed the majority of books I read except for Gone Girl. I actually ended up enjoying The Slaughter Man more than Gone Girl which is saying quite a bit. And yeah, I'm excited to see what the Christmas Booktubeathon will bring about. I don't know when I'm going to do a readathon again, but I hope it is soon. I need to look up the dates for other readathons. Let me know what you read for Booktubeathon and how much you read and whether or not you were happy with it. I know this is a long video, but if you stuck with it through the end, thank you very much. I hope you enjoyed it and I guess I'll see you guys later. Bye!